Hey, folks. Welcome back to 2230, your go-to source for news and discussions around the Asian region. Today, we're diving into a commendable initiative taken by the McPherson Youth Network that aims to tackle the concerning rise of vaping among youths. The McPherson Youth Network has recently rolled out its latest endeavor, the Drop It, Stop It anti-vape campaign. Running until January 2024, this campaign targets individuals aged 12 to 30, urging them to surrender their vape devices in exchange for a 30 Singapore dollar voucher. The initiative aims to combat the increasing prevalence of vaping, particularly among students. The campaign was officially launched on Saturday, November 18, at the McPherson Community Club, with Member of Parliament Tin Pei Ling at the forefront. The event not only marked the beginning of this crucial anti-vape initiative but also saw the active involvement of partnering authorities, including the Health Sciences Authority, HSA, and Health Promotion Board, HPB. One of the standout features of the Drop It, Stop It campaign is its commitment to encouraging participants without imposing penalties. Tin Pei Ling emphasized that partnering authorities, namely HSA and HPB, will waive the usual fines that individuals may face for owning a vape device if they surrender it through this program. Typically, individuals in Singapore could face fines of up to 2,000 Singapore dollars for each offense related to vape devices. In her statements, Tin Pei Ling expressed optimism about the impact of the campaign, highlighting the support from HSA and HPB. She mentioned that by offering an incentive for youths to give up their vaping devices, the campaign aims to yield positive results and make a significant difference in curbing the trend. The McPherson Youth Network has set ambitious goals for community engagement. They aim to involve 50 youths in the campaign or collect 50 vape devices by the end of the initiative. This not only underscores the scale of the vaping issue but also emphasizes the importance of collective action in addressing it. As we wrap up our coverage of the Drop It, Stop It anti-vape campaign, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the initiative? and do you believe similar campaigns could be effective in other regions? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on impactful initiatives like this. Until next time, stay informed and make those positive choices. This is 2230, signing off.